hello guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be trading again with pocket option and of course i'll be using this strategy for five seconds um another thing i would love to point out here is that on this video i'll be enable i'll enable the um what's it called the time and the timer or uh, what's it called the country exploration timer so that you guys can see the best time i was called the exactly time i actually input the trade all right so that's just what i want to mention real quick so how this strategy works for those of you who doesn't watch my last video this strategy works basically on what's it called on five seconds trade right so to do that let's click here so when you click this uh, flag button here you can click beside it and this um this option is going to show up so you can actually increase and decrease so the last one here is five seconds Right, for those of you who's not seeing this on a real market, I think maybe it's pocket option haven't really updated that on your location, or you're actually using an old version browsers, right? To assess your account. So you can try to do to update the browser. And if it doesn't work still, then you have to cool down to be able to have it done. What's the common pocket option updated, right? So another thing, you can actually do this on all this market, but I would recommend you using the structure in the autism market because we need to have this strategy works in a very stable market, right? As you all know, autism market is no real market, not a regular market, and it's very glitched out. So I want to advise you to use this. Like I said earlier on my videos, on my last video, this strategy, this is not a strategy. I don't even know how I used to call it, call it strategy, but it's not a strategy, really. It's just a trick, or should I say, um, um, it's just something that you need to use to determine when the market is dropping and when the market is going up. Just to determine how your country works, right? So that's just it. So in this video, I'm going to show real quick how it works. So in this video, we are using, um, sorry, we're using two indicators. The first indicator we're using here is called moving average, all right? And the period here is 14. The moving average is SMA. And of course, with the main line here, I change it to blue. You can do the same. And I'm using two pixel for the line, right? The second one is another moving average with a period of six here. All right, the moving average right here is um, SMA. All right, the input with the star here, right here, the main line here is um, what's it called? It's um, yellow and two pixel, right? So that was it. So when you're done, just click save. So how this strategy work is very simple. Like I mentioned, I explained really cool on my last video. So if you haven't watched that, you can try to check it out. But let me explain real quick here how this strategy works. This strategy works in a point of direction. Like what I mean is that when you say that the bot line here, the um the yellow line and the blue line here actually intersect. In this position, you see them dropping, like they're dropping really bad, dropping drastically. Then you're gonna input your trade on a very strong candle that it um there was a code indicator is dropping on like what i mean on strong candle like this is the example of strong candle right here of course but we're not going to take a trade here because um the candle just the boot arm line just intersect but of course you can actually take a trade here like you can see there's a drastic fall so if you actually enter the trade when the market fall right here as you can see um this is a very strong candle i saw the candle is dropping if you actually input a trade here we're definitely going to lock down in the money in a couple of five seconds. Of course, my candle time is 30 seconds, so you have enough time to actually study candle that is strong, going down bad, before you put in the money. So that's just it, all right? The example of strong candle is this. A full candle just like this, just like this, something like this, something like this. So I mentioned in my last video, please do not put in a trade on a choppy candle like this. No, never do that. Never do that at all. Do not put... Uh, what's it called? Do not put a trade on a choppy candle. Always make sure you are putting your trade on a full candle, on a strong full candle alone. All right, it's very important. The reason why, and again, don't put a trade on a generated candle. It's not, that is not what I'm saying. Make sure that you're putting your trade on the current candle that is dropping, not the one generated. Because we can never can say the next candle generated might pull back, no matter how strong the current one is. Then my boy pulled out like just what happened as you can see this candle really dropped in a few seconds it actually when did another candle generated it pulled back the same thing happened here this candle is really strong and when it generated another one there's a pullback 
so only put um what's it called only enter your trade on a current candle right so make sure the candle is strong is going down very good before you put in your trade that's why actually enable the timer the timer will show you when the candle is going to expire so i always advise you to put in the money when it's about like um what's it called seven seconds before the candle expires so I've, when it, if it is um less than seven seconds do not put do not enter the trade wait to the next candle and see if that one is strong before you put in the money all right that's just all i want to explain real quick so like i said on my last video i don't recommend you taking the trade for put option all right so um, um call option not really accurate i don't know maybe i'm the only one but based on my analysis and i've actually tried this out for completely a week and then call option not really accurate compared to the um, put option right so my recommendation if you're using this strategy or using my video guideline make sure that you are using a put option alone right it's very important so that's just all guys i'll be analyzing now so when i get a very good moment i'll come over and i'll take a trade so that will explain better the reason why i entered that trade all right Okay, guys, so right here, I actually entered a trade. I see a very good moment right here. So I actually entered a trade. As you can see, we're right there in the money. So like I said, when there's a drastical fall, and always make sure, that, as you can see, each of my candle carries 30 seconds. And you can see the timer here. So it's 30 seconds here. So if you actually get it here, 30 seconds. So immediately, I actually, I actually entered the trade. When I say that I'm having a very good full candle, of course, I was a caustic, was a, sorry. Our indicators, the both our moving average lines actually dropped. And of course, I, in, I I put in the trade when the time is 10 seconds, all right? Like I said, do not enter that trade if the expiry time is less than 7 seconds. It's very important, all right? So guys, I'll be analyzing again. So when I get another good moment, I'll come over and I'll take a trade. Okay, guys, so right here, I found another good moment, all right? Okay, but the market is kind of static like now. Okay, I find a good moment. We actually get back the investment. As you can see, it start going down. The market is actually static right there before, what's it called? Before the time expires. We get back the money in though. That's a very good moment. So I'll be analyzing again. When I get another good one, I'll come over and enter the trade. Okay, guys, so over here, I found a very good moment. As you can see, the market is actually dropping drastically. And of course, I actually entered the trade when it was 11, up 12 seconds. So I know that I was be having a very good pull down. That's the reason I actually input, put into trade for that. So guys, that's a very good moment. I'm analyzing again. So when I get another good one, I'll come over and take a trade. Okay, guys, so I find another good moment right here. Okay, all right, okay, we're right there in the money. I find another good moment right there. And I know that, okay, in a couple of time, we'll be right there in the money. So that's why I actually started a trade. So, guys, I've been analyzing the game. So, when I get another good moment, I'll come over and I enter the trade. Okay, guys, so I found another great moment right here. So, okay, 600. We actually get back on um, the two. Um, what's it called? The market actually get glitched when it gets to this point. So, as you can see, it's actually dropping down now. So, when it gets to this point, it gets glitched. So, I can, we get back um, the money we invested. I put two trade, 300 each, and I get back the 300, right? So there's no lose there, there's no gain. So we're analyzing the gain. So when I get another good moment, I'll come over and I enter the trade. Okay, guys, so right here, I find another good moment right here. Okay, we have a pullback in the market. Okay, that's a very bad one. So we lost that, guys. It's a very good one. That's a very bad one, though. There's a pullback in the market. Like I said, um, please only do this on a real market, on a regular market. You're going to have a stable market because if you're doing this on an auto CD, it's unnecessary pullback and it might actually occur any point of time, right? So let's make sure that you're doing this on an auto C. It's very important. I mean, sorry, on a regular market, not on auto C market, please. That is very important. But you can actually try it out if you only have auto C option in your own end and see if it works but before you do that please make sure you actually try it out with your practice your demo account 
all right it's very important and if you're good then you can actually try it with your real account right so that's just all i have to say so right now i'll be taking another trade to recover the loose right i'll be taking it to a trade and of course i might actually let that be my last trade all right when i now so when i get on that good moment i'll come over and take a trade Okay guys, so over here I found another good moment, right here, as you can see, it kind of actually dropped me real good, and there's the reason why I actually inject the money, the reason why I actually put in the money when it's around uh, 10 seconds, and I know that I'm having a put on the market, not only that, you can see there's a full, what's it called, the is really full right from the top, and to the point where I actually put in the money, so guys, so we actually recovered back, um, what's it called, the lose the other time with, uh, with a double trade, so guys, this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. So I hope you liked it from 2000 plus to days in a couple of minutes. Alright, so I'm sorry, in a couple of seconds. I don't think it's up to one minute, right? So guys, this is where I'm going to stop on today's video. Please guys, put all the guidelines that I give here in mind. Only trade when you're having a full candy, right? A very strong candy. Let the, um, what's it called? Let the boot line, the yellow line, and the blue one should intersect. See it dropping. Only take a trade when you're having a stroke candy, all right? This is not a stroke candy, all right? Let me zoom it so that you can see better. This is not a stroke candy. This is not. This is not. This is not. If you actually um, study each trade I enter, I only enter the trade on a very strong candy, a very full, drastic candy. And I say that the boot line actually fall go with it before I enter the trade, all right? This is the example of the candy I'm talking about. This is the example. Right, these are the examples. These are the example of candle that I'm talking about. So always make sure that you're only taking that trade on a very huge stroke can do if it's falls so bad. Right, this is just a trick that you need to follow. This is there's no strategy that would definitely work on this. It's just like a manipulation of the broker, just to make sure that you fall for it. And it's very okay if you know how to trick them back and make money out of it it's very easy for you to make a very quick money in a couple of few seconds and it's so very easy for you to lose a lot of money in a couple of few seconds so you need to be smart so only put those things on what's it called put this strategy on your head each time you're trading make sure you're trading on a real account and then of course watch my video if possible you need to watch it more than two times do that and make sure you understand everything i did before you start trading with your real account you have a practice account right there for you to process it with go on on your demo account practice this time without number and immediately you get it then you can start using it on your like it's a very good strategy to me all right but i won't say the same to you so make sure that you actually follow everything that i put in here and you're good and again, this is definitely going to be my last video on this particular strategy because it's not something I really recommend. All right, I was just I was just forced to do it based on the request I I get from my what's it called for my loyal subscribers. A lot of them has been messaging me on Telegram and also in the comment section asking me to make a strategy on it. So I promise I'm going to do that, and this is it. So, all right, this is definitely going to be my last video on this. All right, but I'll be trading this at back end, but I won't make a video on this again. All right, I'll be making a video on other strategy from 30 seconds upward. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification. And again, don't forget to join the Telegram page. The link will be in the description. Make sure you join it so that you won't miss out on a very important, uh, what's it called, update each time. I want to bring something new out. All right. It's very important. Please make sure you join it today and stay tuned. All right. Turn on the notification and stay tuned on the Telegram as well. I love you guys and I'll see you on another video.